do you think something like uh, Apple Vision Pro with the virtual reality, do you think, I mean, it's expensive now, but when the prices go down, do you think VR will be more of a integral thing when it comes to new, to streaming and, and movies where you have someone only have like a, a surround sound visual experience about everything? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I'm already there. I, I'm, I'm in there. I, I am in there almost daily. And I got to tell you, the experience is already there. I watch movies. I watch content mm-hmm. in it. Um, and I, and I, I totally believe that the, um, that it is going to, I think, I think that the VR headset is going to do to movies what the iPhone and the iPod did for music. I believe that. I believe that. I think that it's going to bring IMAX capability to your home. Uh, that's amazing. I didn't expect you to bring out the V the VR headset. I was like, I'm going to ask a very professional question. <laughs> it's like, look at this sucker. <laughs> okay. That no, is a- no, you're, you're asking the right thing because look, I think, I think imagine if the music industry ignored the phone or the iPod. Imagine if they just turned their head and said, no, we do. And I think, I think, are you in the movie? I believe I am in the business of connecting content cre- filmmakers, content creators, and audience in a in a communal type way, if it can be in a live event, but I'm not limited to, well, if it's in VR, am I going to do it? I think that where I don't play is I'm not a, um, I'm, so once you get into streaming, the, the, the consumer and the, the, uh, the consumer and the creator are in a direct relationship. But when you're in the live event space, you still have a layer that something like movie packs can play play in because there is a, a ticketing layer because it's a pay-per-view or it's a subscriptionized relationship. There's room for someone like us to play. And that's where I think whether you're watching it in VR or you're watching to get on your headset or in theaters that you can do both. What film have you watched in there that really tripped you out? That really was like, wow, this is even more amazing than I thought. The best one which they outfitted for was Ghost in the Shell, the live action Ghost in the Shell. That was probably the first one I rented and watched in there. And um, now I'm, I'm one of those weirdos that when I'm flying sometimes, so I, I have the new, the new Oculus, um, the new Meta head, Meta Quest Pro, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have been that on the airplane, sitting there like that, watching an IMAX level uh, while I'm flying. I'm flying. So, uh, 